Deep beneath the prestige and easy allure of Miracosta High School in Manhattan Beach is a storied past. I think it's a sad story for Grandpa. A story you know, about her grandfather, side, which Mary Cow is still piecing together. Stop. He was Francis Uematsu, a successful Japanese immigrant who owned more than 100 acres of land for his nursery business until he was forced into an internment camp in California during World War II. That's when 120,000 Japanese Americans were rounded up and incarcerated behind barbed wire, forced to leave their possessions and professions behind. Starting in 1944, a chunk here, a chunk there. A chunk Local historian there, and retired there, Miracosta teacher here. Chuck Courier oh. is helping Mary and Uematsu's great granddaughters fill in the holes district. of their family's history. It. Francis Uematsu, arriving in 1904, succeeded here in California, the only way you could put it is against all odds. It was as if, here, climb this mountain. Okay, okay, now you've climbed that. Here, here see if you can get past this obstacle. California was the epicenter of anti-Asian sentiment. We ran the Chinese right out of California by about 1900. Um, and then we started in with the same playbook on the Japanese. It's so much to take in of the hardship that he went through, being connected to the fact that he was our great grandfather, how amazing he was, and how we never knew and appreciated how much he went through. This map shows the 120 acres of land Uematsu owned in Manhattan Beach, but during the internment, he had to sell piece by piece in order to keep his nursery business afloat. This 40 acre plot is now the home to Miracosta High School, something Mary didn't know about until recently. Growing up as a Japanese American after the war, she remembers rocks being thrown at her while walking to school. Her family didn't talk about their painful past. Coming out of concentration camp is like, you don't want to be noticed, you don't want to be seen as, you know, the enemy. And so we weren't taught Japanese, um, and so that's where we couldn't communicate with the grandparents. And so I think a lot of family history gets lost that way. But now her Thank family's you. story will no longer be lost. An effort to remember the history of the land here will be symbolized on the campus of Miracosta with a plaque and Uematsu's famous camellia flowers as a marker of what once was. He had a vision that he brought to this land from another land as an immigrant to hear how he worked so hard and against all odds. Um, to me, that's the precious uh, takeaway of this is that he didn't let adversity overcome his life even after the internment. This is still called Camp Cardinal. Filmmaker Lindsay Fox helped to bring the Uematsu story to life. She so says it's important for the next generation to never forget the past. It's the most important thing that our kids can learn. They need to realize that we don't live in a perfect society in a perfect world. Let's look at the history and see how we can reflect on that and do better. American racism is so deeply embedded in our history. It's why we're where we are today. Looking back on that history, it can teach us what we really need to try and correct as far as injustice. And he would be looking down and smiling. I think he did look for that recognition in his lifetime, but it wasn't there. Now that recognition of what Japanese Americans like Francis Uematsu endured will last generations. Sandra Endo, Fox 11 News.